economy you are coming from, you won't know where you are going to. So, seed body is actually something like a parachute. It's just like the mind of a person. It does not work unless it's open. A parachute will not work unless it's open. I think if any person is living from the air and you have to land and you have a parachute behind you and you don't use it properly, you will crash. You surely they will they, they won't. So we have to open our minds and connect. And uh, the most vital thing I would like um, each and everyone to know is let's be free, let's be open. We are out to build, we are out to, to develop. Of course, they say the mantle of leadership has changed. I do not know if some have, some know that, but that is true because youths are taking over. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I will uh, begin the PowerPoint presentation with uh, a view of uh, a welcome page. That is how it looks. Communication for development, of course. Development cannot take place without communication. These are two things that go together. Yes. So, of course, if we communicate and develop, then there is an issue of network. Network now, it then relates. What is happening? How did you do to actually come up with this thing? Which you just remember, before we have laptops and uh, iPads we are using today, they start, they, it was on bricks. It went to paper age. Paper we had uh, IBM, which were huge houses savers. It finally went to desktop. We have laptops. Today we have uh, iPads. Today we have. But the truth about it is, this is development, which we must ask ourselves. They are developing. There is no limitation to development, and there is no problem in trying. It's good you try something. If you try and it does not work, then you will be proud of yourself. I have tried. So we are not trying because we all know we are professionals. We are professionals, and uh, I will actually explain, we'll talk about C40 extensively in the PowerPoint presentation so that we get an insight. Because those that have, are here today, you automatically become a leader, you spread the word so that we get to be our country. We get to build the nation, our nation, we get to build the world, so that whenever there is anything new, they will know it, it, it started in Cameroon. So C40, as you all see, is communication for development. Meet up, welcome, uh, your own uh, welcome page. So, what you see up uh, at the top, at the, at the, as the blue um, uh, logo, that is the logo for C40. C40 is an organization based in uh, UK. In UK. That is what you must first of all know. C40 is an organization based in UK. But there are many other organizations that are involved in communication for development. We have Farm Radio International that is also involved in communication for development. Cameroon Link as a giant house also is also involved in communication for development and these um, organizations that are involved in communication for development have <coughs> thought it wise and sat under one thinking car to say it's good we expand so the C for the communication for development as you see you have the world map it's not limited say just to Cameroon we are linked and we link people it's not a social Media network like Facebook, where you can go and subscribe and you just know you do anything. That's not how it's been done. We get to study and know with who, those with whom we are working with. We know one or two things, then an approval is made before you can. So, in the, in the, in, as we move along, you will get to understand what it's all about because we cannot develop without knowing the potential, without knowing the talents, without knowing the limits of people. I think if you give a 50 kg bag of cement to a two years old child to carry, what are we doing? <laughs> that is crucifying. It's just like asking, asking that child to carry the cross, Christ carried for us. So we should know. So as uh, we proceed, there is a path in which we are going to follow. So there is an outline of presentation. There is a pattern 
We don't just get up and we do things anyhow. There's a way of doing things. So the outline of our presentation, we have to do with an introduction. That is item number one. Item number one is uh, introduction. Of course, you see there's a black color there. We are blacks. We are Africans. We are real. Yes. And uh, we have, being black, we have to identify ourselves as green, red, and yellow. Ah, it's, we are Cameroonians. That is true. Yes, because what we say here, there must be true facts. Because if we communicate and we don't reflect what we are, then it will surely lead to some sort of division. So we must say things that are true facts. So green, red, yellow is Cameroon, which makes us different already from those out there, those uh, also involved in communication. Okay, our item number two uh, from uh, the presentation will have to do with the C4D background. Of course, every person would like to know the background. The background. Who, who gets married without knowing the other, the next partner, where is he coming from? Nobody gets into a relationship without knowing the other. So you need to know what C4D is all about. So you have a background, and on the background, I will give you everything about the mission, the vision, and its aim. And we go to item number three. Item number three, you know, it's red. Methodology, it takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of thinking to, to actually... We know what red is, that is determination, red is for itself. So we, we talk about joining the network, why join and get active, why? There's a reason. Why? Because you should ask yourself, why? Why? Like I remember one time when um, I had the first experience with uh, a job with an Australian uh, uh, bingo who we were called and in the hall we had people say, Je, but we said, Je, Master, Je, Je. We got terrified that each and everyone has his or her position in the society. Then we were shocked because we realized that. Uh, uh, it's instead those that were not even having the, the, the PhD and the master's and whatever thing that were finally taken. And we did the job very well because to share an experience, I'm a pioneer tech with Ringo. I worked with Ringo from 2000 and, four years, 2007 to 11. So we will have to talk about the methodology and of course, Number four is telling us about membership categories. In every society, people must be categorized. People are not the same. That is why our heights are not the same. Fingers are not the same. So people must be categorized based on their ability. There are people here that can maybe, I think, load five bowls of rice or food. Some will not even load, so that is the thing. So that is, we have to categorize so that we know the capability, so that whenever there is a task, we know what we can assign to this person. What, is, what we know, that's why there's already that issue, summary of membership benefits. So uh, we will then conclude, and then we will have a, a, dem a demonstration, a demonstration because we can't come and talk, and then we leave and go. We must start something, we must initiate something, we must start something, so from that thing we have started, it will it will help us build and build better. Then there will be a room for questions and answers. There will be room for questions and answers. So, if we are all connected, we shall then go to number one. That is introduction. What is C4D Network? C4D Network is a community of professionals working in communication for development. Of course, it engages in different ways in the use of communication and media within international development and human rights. The network has over 1,780 1, members from 130 countries. Yes, in brief, people may ask which are these countries. You already remember, you get to know these countries, what is happening. Then, 
something will pick in your mind. People are working. That is why we say we can't compare ourselves with Ghana 